I had a random thought the other day. Though Max Verstappen's Jeddah lap was almost absolutely awesome, what would happen if there was just no track limits at all? There was a few times when he came so close to the wall, and that's what made it epic, because he really pushed the limits. And you saw Alonso flinching in interviews, because it was just, he was pushing so damn hard and just taking all the risks in the world. But what if there was just no track limits? There was just no lines that we had to abide by, and we just gave it full beans in between the walls at already an incredibly dangerous circuit. Well, today, we're going to find out. Let's get into it. Here we go then, going out on track. So we're going to see then how close we can get to my existing PB, which I've got the exact same setup on that I set that PB with. It's just some sort of sort of esportsy top time trial setup type vibe. Nothing too, uh, nothing too insane. Now this set's obviously exactly the same because the walls are our track limits effectively. Um, first corner will certainly be different. I think we'll have to be able to carry a lot more speed through, maybe. I don't know. The walls are normally quite close anyway at the best of times. Let's see what turn one's like. We'll break a bit later. Okay, I can break later than that. And, yeah, oh, yeah, that's going to be fun. That's oh, that's going to be tricky, but fun. Now, I'm assuming this next one will be flat. No, not flat. Oh, my God. Oh, my word. That one's going to be terrifying. This will probably be flat. We go straight across there. It's not too bumpy, thankfully. And that's going to be... Oh, okay, it's going to be hairy, but completely flat. That will be fine. Once we get used to it, that will be easily flat. Now, again, this section here is going to be all about... Just doing it normally because the, the, the walls are our track limits anyway. Okay, next one. Is this going to be flat? No. Oh, surely not. Surely this is not going to be flat. No, 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 no. Not quite. But again, that one's going to be terrifying. Right on the limit through there. You can see why they've got the track limits as they've got them. Because it's dangerous enough in, in the actual configuration. So when you add in, uh, you know... No, yeah. Okay. There's, there's, uh, can they cut, they're kind of quite, all quite similar, actually. When you take out the track limits, they're all kind of quite similar. They're not flat, but they're not a million miles away from it. Right. Let's just have one more lap here. We learned a bit of, we learned a bit of turn one before. There's actually only about three or four corners, isn't there, where we can really uh, gain some time. And I'm interested to see how much time we can gain and just how close we can get to those walls without dying. So, breaking later. Oh, that braking zone is tricky. Oh, a bit wide on the exit. That braking zone is tricky. We're actually half a second up there, but that obviously wasn't completely optimal. This one wasn't quite flat, was it? We're not far off. Little lift there, just help the car turn. Oh god. Okay, there's a double. There's a double barrier there that he's going to need to watch out for. Now this is surely just going to be. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Relatively easy flat. No worries at all. Okay, that section's actually. I'm not going to say it's safer like that. But it's not that much more dangerous. You're carrying more speed, which is which is where the danger comes from. But actually, the, you're so easily flat through that. That's not really more dangerous. Now, this one's going to be hairy. It'll break down to sixth. Uh, it's, it's, it's that. But it's that part. Trying to thread it between the walls. I think if we go a bit right, bit more right, perhaps, we might see a bit more luck for that one. 1 1.2 up already, though, with, with, despite having a couple of crashes here. Now, I think similar to this. Little dab that breaks down to seventh. Get it chucked in. Whoa. Okay, that one. That line could work with that one. That's going to be probably the scariest corner. We're going to be so close to the walls. All right, then, guys. Well, let's do a bit of sweat. And uh, let's get forward to what is going to be my best lap. Ignoring track limits around the already dangerous. Oh, good. Around the already dangerous Saudi Arabian Jeddah circuit. Okay, here we go. I think I've got the hang of this now. And it is one hell of a roller coaster when you get it right. First of all, I'm just going to show you this lap in time trial. Just to kind of show you what it's like. And then I'm going to try to do the lap. With its simulation damage on to see if we can survive one lap while pushing to this extent, right? Here we go. So turn one, you can be about eight tenths up just about on the exit of turn one. Breaking super late, but hanging it left for the next turn. No contact the wall there. See that? Go left further than you think because the exit is quite important. Using all the track, bit too much wheel spot on the exit there. About a tenth down where I have been previously. This one, little tap of the brakes. Now sit gear, turn it left. Cause you keep turning left because this is really tricky because that wall just keeps coming at you. You've got to try and hustle the car through there as much as you can. Just try and use minimal speed for here. It's very, very easy flat. There, that's a bit wide actually there on the exit, but very easy flat. About one and a half seconds up to sector one. That's about where I've been. Uh, Breaking late for here. Can't do too much more than the usual into here. So just try to take as much speed as I can. That's wide into the wall. There you go. Simulation damage. That'd be a wheel off, but we'll carry on for now. And uh, this one is just a little tap of the brakes. Get it in. Back on throttle. Try and keep it flat. Oh my word. That's the best I've done that. That was millimetres. You know what? We're going to have to go watch that back. 
That was millimetres. Right, so right against the wall, the exit there. Oh, sorry, on the left-hand side there, with the entrance. Swing it in. Oh, my God. Okay, not as close as I thought it was at the entrance. But bearing in mind, we're in... Well, well, what speed are we even doing here? Let's find out on the steering wheel. 257 kilometres an hour. And through here, that was mega close. Oh, that's as close as you'd ever want to get doing... What am I doing now? 270 kilometres an hour now. And then on the exit as well. Just trying to hold on to it again. Skimming the wall. That time at 273 kilometres an hour. Let's go to the off-board cam and see if it's any good. Oh, oh, my God. That's the best I've done that yet. That was incredible. Right, this one, flick it down to seven. You've got to be brave for here, but not too brave. Because you can run too wide. Like, probably done that. Oh, again, right on the limit there. Probably ran a bit wide, though, to be honest, because you just end up scrubbing the tyres a bit too much on the exit. We're 2.9 up. I've, I've only been just about three seconds up, so we're all apart here with the best lap I've done. Let's try and nail the final turn. Pretty good a bit of tap of the wall on the exit. And it's going to be three seconds up. That's pretty much the best lap I've done. You can see it wasn't perfect. There's a bit more margin there in, in a couple of little areas. But 24-3. Three seconds quicker than the usual lap. And I'll tell you what, right on edge. This corner, I think if you flattened this corner, I think that could be insane. Because like this barrier, you end up pointing here. So this barrier sort of gets in the way. I'd say this corner isn't really any better. The rest are like really tricky in their own way. But th this corner is kind of weird because this barrier is so in your face. And you can't use all the track limits there because it's the barrier ju juts out at you effectively which is kind of weird but uh right anyway as i promised let's now do a lap with simulation damage on we'll give it one attempt and one attempt only to round out the video simulation damage pushing that hard can we make it through one lap let's find out here we go then simulation damage on that's it if we crash that's it we're gone just like in real life so I need to be very careful here, but I always want to push. Oh, goodbye, Hamilton. That's a mod. I'm definitely not running. <laughs> okay, push into turn one. Oh, just about get it stopped. Hamilton, by the way, has got 10 times power. I was testing him on earlier, which is why he's flying past in the straights. We'll still be able to beat him. That'd be an interesting test, actually. Come on, keep it. Oh, turn. Oh, my God. Terrifying. It is definitely scarier having the barrier coming at you that quickly when you're on simulation damage. I'm actually just about to stay with Hamilton with 10 times power. But I suspect he'll flee. Yeah, there you go. Bye, Hamilton. We're never going to catch him again now. That's it. He's gone now. There's a couple of straights coming up. Just trying to hold on to it here. Don't touch the wall. The exit. We're still trying to push to get a similar sort of lap time to what we got in that time trial. So far, we've not even tapped the wall, actually. But it's these couple of corners here that are hairy. Oh, oh no. Uh, there it goes. Yeah. Both wheels are gone. Yeah. I mean, I guess we could have predicted that one. That was probably the hairiest corner on all the circuit. And, uh, yeah, it is what it is. Let's have a look. Yeah, just I just turned it a bit too early. You have to. You have to. This is really tricky. You have to get it right. And then swing it. Because you can look. Right now, I can't actually see. Maybe I'm bored I can. But, no, I can't. I can't actually see that concrete barrier. If we go forward a bit, there's the concrete barrier. So, it looks like the yellow is the edge. You sort of have to judge on memory where that barrier is. It's quite tricky. So, I've, I've swung it in. I've just got a tired a bit too early. The car's also over-rotated on me a little bit. And in the end, wallop. There goes the wheel, unfortunately. Where's... There you go. Let's, let's watch that one through at full speed. Bam. Whoa. Even looks nasty, doesn't it, in the game. But anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Something a little bit different, something a little bit fun. Why not? And uh, I think Jeddah is, uh, is scary enough as it is. Uh, without getting rid of track limits. So hopefully they if anything, introduce more track limits next year to make it safer. But uh, pretty hairy stuff. The sort of thing we can only do in the games. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe for you. And I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.